Hi, welcome to Nicole's Classes. I'm Holly Hucklesby and I'm the illustrator and Photoshop teacher uh, with Nicole's Classes. So welcome. Um, I wanted to show you very quickly and easily how to create Japanese washi tape in Illustrator. So you can see here I um, designed this earlier um, and I wanted to show you how to um, create such um, tape. So I'm just going to scroll over to my new artboard. So you can see here that I've just created some um, lines, some diagonal lines in um, Illustrator. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Um, there's a number of ways, but um, the easiest way I'm just going to show you now. So I'm literally uh, clicking and dragging a rectangle um, with the rectangle tool. I'm just going to make sure that it's the fill that's um, filled, not the stroke and I'm going to make it a little bit thinner and I'm just going to rotate it on an angle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to hold down the shift and the alt key whilst I'm doing that and what that does is it creates a copy of the first rectangle and I'm going to let go and I'm going to hit nothing else but command D. Command D duplicates the action so what it's doing is it's duplicating that um, diagonal line to make um, a pattern. Um, so that's very, very easy. Now the next thing I want to do is obviously mask it into um, a tape pattern. So I've got one here that I drew earlier, but it's very, very easy to do. So I want to show you how I did that. Um, so I'm just going to select the pen tool. I'm just going to click and drag a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And um, I'm just going to click once and hold down shift to draw a straight line. And then all I'm going to do is just sort of click and do little sort of movements back and forth just to make a sort of jaggedy sort of tape line. Um, then I'm going to hold down shift again to draw all the way back again. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same all the way back down. And then I'm going to make sure that it completes it. So you saw that little circle. I want to make sure that it creates a complete um, path. So I'm just going to zoom back out just to show you what I've done. And if I feel like some of it's a little bit extreme, which it is here, I'm just going to zoom in. And with my direct select tool, which is up here, it's the white arrow, the shortcut is A. I'm just going to click and I'm going to just drag and soften some of these lines because I think they look a little bit too zigzaggedy for what I want. So I'm literally clicking and dragging on the anchor points and just um, repositioning them and making it a little bit smoother um, so it doesn't look too fake. And I'm just going to zoom out again. Okay, so now I've got um, my tape outline and I've got my pattern. So next thing I'm going to do is click and drag over these lines with my selection tool um, highlighted and I'm going to group them, Command G. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag my um, masking tape over the pattern. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just remove the fill and the stroke. So to do that I'm in my tool palette and I'm just going to select the none for my fill I'm then going to click on my stroke and select none. So in essence, it's just an empty shape. So I have that empty shape, the tape selected because it's in blue. I'm then going to hold down shift and select the whole of my diagonal pad, um, pattern. Then I'm going to hit command six. Oh no, command seven. I'm sorry. <laughs> so command seven is the clipping mask. So we're just going to go up, I'll show you where that is um, in the tool palettes. Go up to uh, Object, Clipping Mask, and then it make is Command 7. Sorry, I got confused with another shortcut. So Clipping Mask basically masks the tape or the pattern within the tape. So if I let go, um, you can see that obviously this shape is um, masked. Now you can't really see that this is tape because obviously it's white. I mean, that might work if it's a on a, another color background. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my direct select tool and I'm going to click on the mask again. And remember we um, selected nothing for the fill and nothing for the stroke. I'm going to double click on the stroke. Sorry, yes, the fill, sorry. 
and I'm going to select a blue. And that is going to have a blue background with the grey stripe. So just to zoom out, that is a very quick washi tape. So now what I'm going to show you is how to create little um, circular washi tape. So I have these circles. I'm just going to show you how I created those. So I went to the ellipse tool and I click, held and dragged out my circle. Then all I did was my circle with the selection tool, which is um, shortcut is V, is click, hold and drag, just the same as I did with the um, diagonal lines, hold down shift and hold down alt, and it copies it. Then I'm just gonna hit command D to repeat that action. Now what I want to do is make sure I'm gonna select holding down shift, a few of the colors, circles and change the color of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click hold and select all of these. You can see I've got that one by mistake. Just hold down shift and click again and that deselects it. Now what I'm going to do is I've got all of these circles selected. Click hold and drag holding down alt and shift to copy. I'm going to zoom out so you can see. And now I'm, all I'm going to do exactly the same as before is hit Command D. And that duplicates. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag up and I'm just going to select this washi tape. I'm going to bring it down. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this tape longer. So to do that, you won't, you don't want to click and drag because what that does, can you see, it creates, it doesn't keep the um, proportions correct. So I'm just going to undo that, which is Command Z. I'm going to go to my selection tool, direct select, A. I'm going to click and drag over that corner. And with shift held down and the right arrow on my keyboard, I'm hitting that right arrow and it's extending that section. So it's keeping all the proportions of the tape correct and just elongating it. So I'm going to do exactly the same as before. I'm going to, first of all, click and drag over these circles. Hold down shift to deselect that rogue uh, circle. I'm going to hit Command G to group them because they all have to be one pattern. I'm going to click and drag my, um, my tape up. I'm going to make sure um, there's no a fill or stroke on my tape. So I'm going to select... Um, no fill and no stroke. So I'm just literally clicking on the num button. I'm going to make sure my um, tape is selected, then hold down shift and select all the circles, and then command seven for clipping mask. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see what's going on here. I'm going to bring this to the front. I'm just, bring this to the front is command shift and bring to the front, which is close bracket. I'm going to just try that again. There you go, and it worked. I think that was because my masking tape was behind the circles. You always have to make sure that whatever object that you're using to mask is in front of the, the object that you want to mask. So the next thing I want to do is direct select to select the actual mask and fill that with a color. So I think I might go for a little cream color. Might be a little bit lighter, so I'm double clicking again and redoing that. Okay, so that in essence is how to create um, washi tape. So I've got some more washi tape that I created down here, but you can see this effect of it overlapping. That's what it's all about is making sure with washi tape, it's quite transparent. So to get this effect, uh, typically um, it would look, I'm just gonna show you if I go out to window, transparency, and I'm just gonna select the blending mode of normal. And that blending mode, that is what uh, the masking tape would look like but that's not how it should look like so what you need to do is click and drag over both um, pieces of tape and the blending mode needs to be changed to multiply and what that does is it knocks out any white so it feels like it's actually overlapping so I'm going to do the same with these two so you can see automatically the transparency is always set to normal so I'm just going to click and drag I'm going to bring down this uh, tape that I created earlier with you I'm just going to rotate it and I'm going to click and drag on both of these tapes and select the blending mode to multiply and now they feel like they're overlapping just like these two they're all set to multiply and these 
So that is how to create Japanese washi tape in Illustrator. Thanks. <laughs>